great idea. Hmm. Remember this train track hump up here? Yeah. Do you want to film and see if I can get air on it? Sure. So, hey, Desiree had a great idea. Today we're gonna go out and give back to our community a little bit because we've realized that uh, we're really, really fortunate to be where we're at in life. We're gonna go out and try to find a few ways to give back to our community. And here's the lovely lady with the lovely idea. It just made me think of uh, like a few years ago, Max was a personal trainer at a gym and I was a barista. And if this had happened then, we would have been screwed. Don't know if you guys know, but this is perfectly fit to carry your treetop juice, juice jugs. Uh, with this whole thing going, we are super, super lucky to be where we're at right now. Some income has gone down with like the YouTube stuff. So even we're a little bit affected, but it just made us kind of realize how fortunate we are to have a job that we still get to keep going to and working. Uh, Max is a firefighter, so he's doing awesome. But a few years ago, this had happened back then, we would have just been screwed. We're in a position right now to do something good for other people. So that's what we're gonna do. Yeah. And back then we were doing jobs that we enjoyed doing. I mean, I yeah. loved being a personal trainer. I wanted to open a gym. And had I just happened to go down that route, uh, we would ju we'd be screwed right now. So yeah. it just um, happened to be that we things turned out okay for us during this time. There's a lot of really good people that are hurting right now. And mm -hmm. it's not because they made mistakes or they're um, less fortunate than others. It just happened to be the luck they, of the draw. They can't work right now. Yeah. It's just awful. So it's not fair. This is a video that we wanted to do, but it's been kind of hard to do because um, we're kind of scared of the backlash. I don't know if you see on social media, there's a lot of um, celebrities and stuff that are doing a lot of good and charitable work and they just get ripped apart. It's because never good enough. It's never good enough. It's like, oh, well, it must be nice living in your million dollar mansion and this is what you're going to do. And it's just, it's so nasty and toxic. And I want to encourage everyone to do something nice, even if you aren't in a place to do anything financially. But charity should not be, um, it shouldn't have to be self-sacrificing and it shouldn't have to live up to a standard. It's literally, if you can do something, do something. And no one should be ripping you apart for doing something positive for someone else. We're trying to, we're gonna go out and try to help, not hurt. You know, our intentions are good, but someone's gonna call us out for like, going out in public when we don't need to. Yeah, the internet yep. makes it hard. The internet makes it so hard. We'll do our best. Des is gonna mask up. Just putting on like a dry cloth like this protects other people from her cough. It won't necessarily protect her from other people's cough. I know it looks silly. Hey, I look good. You look like you're about to rob the place. Now is the best time to rob banks. Don't say that on the <laughs> Everyone's wearing masks. <laughs> I mean, if you're doing something sketchy, no one's gonna know. Honestly, it's They're so weird. They're just gonna be like, look at that responsible citizen. All right, I'll be right back. All right. Okay. Get some stuff. Love you. Okay. Be safe. Let's make the world a better place every day. How are we gonna do that? What do you think we should do? Uh, uh, do Target. like this. <laughs> As a better, make the world a better place. Today, today we're gonna try to make the world a better place by offering some groceries and supplies to people who don't have money to buy them. Does that sound like a good plan? Yeah. Look, I can I I can go like this now. Oh, you can unbuckle your helmet all by yourself? Yeah. Whoa. She's back. Oh. I'm back. Dude, I'm starting to get worried. Was it just a madhouse in there? It wasn't too bad. There were some signs um, wow, so you, you can only get up. like a few things of certain things like diapers. I only got one thing of diapers because oh, they didn't want everyone to buy them all. But I got all of this stuff for I think it was uh, 180 bucks. That's a so good deal. Okay. So not too bad. You can get quite a bit with just a little bit of money and it's nice. And I got some dog food. That's a good idea. Yeah. Take care of the pets. Lots of pasta. Pasta's great. Cheap. It's dry. Yeah. Meow mix. Just in case. 
Where are we gonna? So are we gonna set up multiple I bought, giveaway stations? I got three little um, stands. Oh, perfect. So if we could just do a few. Hey, buddy. Look at all these groceries. We're gonna give these away. Is that pretty cool? There's bar soap, antibacterial bar soap. Good job. You actually manage to keep your mask on the whole time? Uh, most of the time. Really? Yeah. That's pretty good. I got some hand sanitizer for you. Thank you. I'll put this back. So what do you think we should do? Should we hit like, should we hit like the three cities? Like one in each city? Oh, that's a good idea. So like. Well, or like at home. What do you do? I'm trying to look almost early. Okay. <sighs> we could put one up by our first gym, and then one by the second gym, and then one by our house. Where are we gonna do our drop stations? I don't know. By the college. By the college. Right? Yeah. Students. Help the students. Help the future. Help the future. Oh, liquid gold. Liquid gold, wash your hands. Great idea. Hmm. Remember this train track hump up here? Yeah. Do you wanna film and see if I can get air on it? Sure. Can I ruin your car? No, 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 no. This is what it's made for. That's what you said with your Toyota, and now it has all sorts of issues. <laughs> it's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. That was awesome. Did it look like it came off the ground? I don't know. I was just scared. <laughs> did you get it on camera? Yeah. Or did you shake it? <laughs> okay, so you're organizing packages. Okay, I have. I'll draw the signs. I figured I'd just write like, take what you need on them or something like that. Yeah. You got markers? I did, I bought some markers or any one of these things. Oh, you even got crayons for kids? Yeah. Dude, that's awesome. Wait, these aren't markers. These are stickers. Oh, fuck. Oh. Use the crayons. <laughs> Hey, what's your name? <laughs> Gus, I made a crayon sign. Free. Free stuff. Remember when we found that car? It was like for sale on the side of the road and it said, works good. Works good. <laughs> I feel like that's a good corner, yeah. I feel like that's a great spot. Maybe a bunch of people will start doing this and then we'll start a wave. It was, we spent $180, which isn't a ton, but when you need something, you need something and a little bit, you know. I think it just helps people, I mean, might warm their hearts a little bit, you know? Uh, drop. First drop. Three more. Yeah. Two more. Two, Two more. more. Two more. There's potentially some more jumps ahead. Did it say bumps or jumps? They're called speed bumps. They're called speed jumps. Stop. Woohoo! <laughs> speed jumps. Bananas, so yeah, two for the next one. This can go, this can go. I, want, I have soap somewhere. Aha. Way down there. You got a bunch of oranges left. Yeah, let's do it. Oranges. Oh. All right, last stop, guys. Last stop. Last stop. Last stop. I'm gonna have to climb all the way back there to get that sauce. Yeah. Sauce. Right. This one's getting extra stocked just because we had a lot left over. There we go. That's this sound does. It'd be really cool if people, like, maybe other people started just dropping stuff here that they don't need.
don't know for sure, but I wonder if animal shelters need any extra help right now. Any extra, I don't know. I don't know if they're doing that because social distancing. But even if you are in the market to adopt an animal, now's probably... Do you think there's somewhere nearby, Des, that would let us adopt an ostrich? No. I would love to adopt an ostrich. <laughs> Those are deer. Yeah. yeah, they're just eating little tree starts. <laughs> nice little snack. Just, uh, just snacking on the fresh trees. <laughs> they were just planted like a few weeks ago. These look expensive. Mm, yeah. I'll chew on that. <laughs> kind of like the dogs peeing on all my lavender. Sure. Back from that. That was fun. Super good little adventure. I liked that a lot. Sterling, what? let's go on the razor. My helmet is in the floor raptor. So I helmet Oh, good job. Okay, thank you. You got your helmet. Do you like that? Yeah. Come on, we'll go for a ride. <laughs> Des is pissed. I drove all the way to the high school to do a run around the track after drinking a full scoop of pre workout, so I'm all jazzed and ready to go. Locked. It was locked. I'm so sorry, babe. So we're gonna go get exercise though in our field. I drove past the, uh, the take what you want thing though and yeah. um, all the pet food's gone and wow. most of the oranges. Pet food was popular. Pet food was popular. <laughs> my favorite tree and it's now Sterling's favorite tree. I want to make a better path. They made one last year but it kind of disappeared. Come on buddy. Look it's dad's favorite tree. I'll help you. you be brave. Be super careful. Okay. All right look be careful. What? Dude. Is that cool? Yeah. It's daddy's favorite tree on our property. It's called the fishing tree. Is that cool? Yeah. Let's see. Remember George? George crashed to a tree. George of the Jungle? Yeah. Yeah, I remember that. That's a good movie. Yeah. Look, it's like Deer Trail. Right here. Maybe I should throw you in. No. One. No. Two. No. Three. Go. <laughs> You can't do that. Did I scare you? Yeah. Okay. What are you going to film? Why, you? You want to film me? Yeah. Daddy left his soda pop over here in the bushes. You going to help me get it? Yeah. You going to film me get it? We're on an epic adventure. One man, one baby cameraman. Into the wild with the baby. Come on, baby. Where are you going? That'd be, that'd be a great reality TV show. Would that be a great reality TV show? Sawyer! <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> no. Are you filming? Are you filming? Super fun. I feel so much better. I'm really glad you got to run. Me too. <laughs> Look who's in the back seat. Uh, yeah, we'll go fairly slow, so don't worry about it. Uh, I want to go fast. 
Oh, I think we're just gonna go really slow. Probably you have just. You to go fast, Ricky Bobby. <laughs> I wanna go fast. Yeah, I do wanna go fast. I'm gonna go shake and bake. I wanna go shake and bake. <laughs> shake and bake. <laughs> Yeah, all right guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Des, anything to add? Um, everyone try and make the world a better place. I even agree. Even if it's just a little bit, yep. it's always enough. Yeah, it doesn't, it might not always seem like a big deal. I think if you're in the position to do it, it doesn't seem like a big deal sometimes. It's hard to put yourself in the person's shoes that might just need a bag of dog food or something. <laughs> All right guys, unfortunately the camera cut out there so I have to fill you in now. But basically, you get the gist of it. People are what really matter right now. Um, and I know it's really difficult to get into the giving spirit when everyone's suffering. I gotta tell you, by, by just putting something out there, it wasn't too expensive. I know that it helped somebody and it felt good for us and I'm sure it would feel really good for you. And I think we could have a really big impact if a bunch of people did this. I would love to see this become a challenge. Uh, that we can share on Instagram and Facebook. It'd be so cool just to, to see this spread. Um, I know what, what, what we did has had enough of an impact already, but if you guys could do it, if you, felt, if you feel compelled to, I mean, I think that would be so cool. And I really hope no one thinks that this is just like a self-promotional thing, because that's, that's not where this is coming from. Um, if I wanted to do that, I would just go uh, break one of my toys or something. <laughs> no, it'd be a lot more expensive. But anyways, uh, why don't we call it the uh, take what you need challenge and just put out some things saying take what you need and uh, share that with me. Use the hashtag on Instagram, take what you need challenge and I'll repost it, you know? That'd be really, really cool. So um, it's so cool. We saw our one of our drop stations was refilled by someone and so it's already starting to to take on its own, its own little thing and that's pretty awesome. Huge thanks to Desiree. This was her idea. She's been so cool and she's such a, such a kind person. So hope that you guys are all doing okay and feeling okay. And uh, just know that uh, we love and appreciate you. And I honestly, from the bottom of my heart, appreciate that you watch these videos because I love making videos and I love that people watch them and enjoy them. That's pretty much it for today. So go on, pass it on. I'd love it if you pass it on. Thank you so much. Get some work done this week, but don't forget to live. Dude, it was terrible.